Sports. Now Jones. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Second and ten. the give this is Harris and he's across midfield and into Miami territory they get six that'll leave them with third and four now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth a field goal from this spot likely out of the question they've got to get closer here on third down Here's another carry for Harris. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's Jones. taken down what a huge play at this point in the game they hand this off to Harris and he'll take this one down to about the 40 a long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive and we will get a timeout with two ticks left So here now is the kicker, Nick Folk, and we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So here now is the kicker, Nick Folk. This from long, very long range. And this is off target to the left, didn't get there anyway. It's no good, and that changes everything here in OT. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team... gets a possession and after both teams get a possession then we're into sudden death first team to score wins the game nothing between these two teams for four quarters here we go to begin overtime so Miami coming out for their second drive they control their own destiny here they have the football in overtime obviously a touchdown would win it and I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Oh, he's hitting one. to the 30-yard line. And a costly, costly mistake. Coaches talk so much about ball security. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now another timeout called for by the offense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Short. A loss of a yard and it brings up four. 
I know they may want to go for this, but the smart play probably to punt it, even given the field position, right? In a sense, you honor what they've done all game. And this is a defense that's held the score down, kept it tight, kept you right in it, and they're really jonesing for one more shot. Give it to them. Let them play defense for you and give you a better chance to win the game. And a timeout now here in overtime with four seconds remaining. Going to give this time to the tailback. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. So the OT clock hits zero, and we're still not done. We'll switch sides and need at least one more OT to decide it after this. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Another run with Gaskin. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. 48 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Going overtime, how about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Going to give this time to the tailback. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Now another timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now Tua. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. It'll be a sack and a loss of three. But more importantly, it brings up. Fourth down. Whistles come in on a timeout. Just eight seconds left in OT. A big call here in overtime. They're going for it on fourth down. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. A thrown to Parker complete on the slam. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So the OT clock hits zero, and we're still not done. We'll switch sides and need at least one more OT to decide it after this. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddlefield pretty good about the 